Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to the CarBuyingTips.com YouTube channel where since 1999 our team of consumer advocates has been both educating and protecting you, the American car buying public, in all areas of buying new and used cars, leasing, financing, and avoiding car dealer scams. And you know we also have plenty of how-to videos and in today's how-to video we're going to show you how to clean the wheels here on your Corvette. Now, as you can tell here, this is a black aluminum painted wheel here. And I know a lot of people that have black wheels may look at it and think, oh yeah, the wheel looks clean, it's black, I can see it. But this wheel is actually quite filthy and we're going to show you how filthy it is. And you'll be totally amazed at how it's going to look, how different it will look after we clean it. Okay, so as you look here on the barrel of the rim here, look at this right here. Now watch this. That shows you how dirty it is right there. And then if you look down here by the Corvette logo, let's show you some more right there. So you can see the real true color underneath all of that dirt there. So these rims here are really right now are not black, they're more brown and gray, but we're going to take care of that. And also look right here on the brake caliper. See that? So we've got some work ahead of us. So before you clean your wheels, you always want to make sure you're in a shady spot if you can. Now we're going to have a little bit of sunlight here, but that's fine. It's more for us for the video. But you want to make sure you're in a, in a cool, shady spot because you never want to spray any of these cleaners on a hot wheel. Make sure your wheels are nice and cooled off because you don't want it evaporating and drying on there. You want it to spray on and get that dwell time that you need. So today we're using the, uh, the Meguiar's All Wheel. Now we've done other videos before showing other cleaners, and I'll put a link down in the description description for you. We did a great video that compared this Meguiar's all-wheel cleaner here to the Griot's Garage wheel cleaner and also to the German-made Sonax wheel cleaner plus. That's a great one too. You got to make sure you check out that video. We'll put a link to it below for you. So we're going to spray it onto a dry wheel. You make sure you do not do not wash and, and soap up your wheel or your tire or anything first. This has to go undiluted onto the dry surface here. So here we go. You want to cover the drum on the bottom and along the sides and up the top of the drum as well. Now if you think it uses a lot of product, yeah it does. So one of these bottles might treat three cars, but if you wash your car on a regular basis like every other weekend, you won't have to spray as much. You could just get away with either a little mist or if you clean it pretty good every week, you may not have to use it at all. Now these wheels here look like they've gone months without cleaning, so we're going to have to spray it on real good and thick on here. And as it's dwelling on there, you will see it start to change color. That means it's reacting with the iron and the brake dust. So as you're driving through traffic, your car is being subject to all sorts of pollutants and contaminants, and especially the iron and the brake dust from other cars. What this does here is this breaks down that iron because just regular soap and water alone is not going to do that. I also try to get way back in there on the drum because that's where a lot of that brake dust is collecting. If you want your drum to come out nice and clean and shiny, you got to have this stuff on here. Regular soap and water is not going to do it. So over the next couple of minutes, we're going to see this really start to turn purple because we know there's a lot of brake dust on there. This shows more evident when you're doing like silver colored wheels, like on this Ford F-150 wheel rim that you see here on the screen that we also did. So you'll see how much cleaner it shows up on there on the silver wheels. Real quick spray here just to re-wet it and give it a chance to get some of the brake dust that it might not have gotten on the first one there. And you can already see how much purple has come down here. That indicates how much of brake dust has been stuck to that wheel rim. So there's a close-up. You can see all of the purple just running off of the wheel there and how much of it is on the driveway. And that will rinse off nice. We're going to be hitting it with soap and water anyway when we go to clean the wheel and the tire here. Okay. 
You can see all of the purple running down the driveway there off of the wheels. Shows you just how, how much iron was in all of that brake dust there. Make sure you get all the way back in there and on the drum. All over the drum on the bottom too. But all of that suds come out. You can see all of the purple running down there. So here, without any scrubbing yet, all we've done here is just sprayed the wheel cleaner and washed it off. And it's already much better than it looked before. You can see all the nice shiny black and you'll see maybe still a little bit of dirt that might come off, but we're going to soap it and scrub it right now. But I just wanted to show you how what we thought was matte black wheels before, they're really actually shiny black wheels. These are painted aluminum wheels. Okay, now we're going to be using our wheel willies. We have a small one, a medium one, and I've got a large one over in the bucket. But if you've never seen these before, these are the best things in the world. You've got to get yourself some of these. We use these all the time, and they call them wheel willies because this material feels just like a carpet. So it's a soft method of mechanically removing the dirt off of your wheels and rims there. And so this is, these are great tools to have. And we'll put links down in the description below here for you so that you can go and check these out yourself. And this tool right here is a great tool to have. This is the sponge brush here that we use for cleaning the lug nuts. So this fits right around the lug nuts and gives them a nice scrubbing. So if you've ever been frustrated, well, I can't get my lug nuts clean. How am I going to get around them? This is how you do it. You don't mess with the little brushes and stuff. This is a great tool to have. And we'll also put a link to this down in the description below for you. Okay, so we're going to start off here with the large wheel woolly. And these are great for getting way in the back there and cleaning the drum. It's so important for you to clean the drum because you can see there's a lot of dirt that's going to come out of there. But when you clean that drum and it gets nice and shiny in there, it helps reflect all of the light on the outside as well. So it makes the wheels look even that much cleaner. It's much more effective on silver coated rims and you have the silver colors, things that are a lot brighter and shinier and glitterier in the sunlight. Like in specifically on, uh, on our set of Mercedes rims, you can see it comes out really good there. Now, the big wheel wheelie can't fit back in there by the brake caliper, so for that, we whip out the smaller size wheel woolly and we can usually get in there behind that, see? Because believe it or not, you might think you don't see it, but it does make a difference to be able to clean in those little areas. And see, so the, the medium sized wheel woolly is great for hitting all of these small nooks and crannies. Yeah, right in there. I got this one. Okay, so now to clean the wheel lugs here, we dip our brush here and uh, soap. You can see the water getting, it's coming out dirty and then running down there, so you can see it's really having an effect. So now we'll take the overall brush here and we'll do the wheels and the tires. Now comes the rinse cycle. Okay, now comes the wiping down cycle. And wiping with a towel is important too because A, it removes any kind of water spots that you might develop there. And it also is, is your last chance to remove any other brake dust or dirt or anything that might have been left behind that you missed from the scrubbing and brushing. So now you have a nice, beautiful, shiny wheel here. This, this is ready for showroom almost. Once we let these wheels dry some, we're going to apply some tire shine on there. And we're going to try two different types here. Okay, so now you can see how beautiful and shiny black these rims are now. When you compare the rims, how it looks now, 
Do you remember when we started, it was all kind of matte black looking and just dirty and, and they almost looked brown. They looked more brown than black. And look, there's the brake caliper. Who knew that was a shiny black brake caliper? You can see the purple here. It's all running down the bottom of the wheel, just like the front wheel there. And you'll see it running onto the concrete there. So now just look how shiny this wheel is here. Nice shiny black paint. You can even see the reflection in there on the drum as well. Now if you have a set of wheels like these where your rims are a combination of paint and metal along with what looks like clear coated aluminum there, so Meguiar's claims that their all-wheel cleaner should work on these as well, too. And the main reason them or any other manufacturer can make that claim is if their product is non-acidic and pH balanced. And it doesn't contain any abrasives or any other chemical that would harm the paint. Okay, so we like to use this a lot, too. This is a wheel applicator sponge here. And so this pad here uh, just perfectly fits around all the nooks and crannies on the tire to get in between where the tire meets the rim. And it puts a nice, good, even coating of tire dressing onto your tire. Okay, so what I like to do then when we have narrow tires like this, instead of using the applicator pad, I'll apply the tire dressing directly using a very high quality paintbrush here. Okay, so I will pour the tire dressing, the Meguiar's Endurance tire dressing in here, right in there. And I'll just pour enough that I think we'll do a couple of tires. I can always pour more. So we like to put a cloth down here under the tire, just in case when you're brushing on the tire dressing here, you don't get any on to the ground. Okay, so we just come around and paint it with the paintbrush here. And you wanna try to avoid getting any onto the treads. So you have to be real careful about that. So the good thing about the paintbrush is it enables you to get into all of these little nooks and crannies here. So for example, I can come in here and get this little spot of the tire here that comes right up to the rim. See that? Just drag the brush all the way around. So you can see it doesn't take a whole lot and you don't want to apply a whole lot because you'll get it running down the wheels. So there's our tire with the dressing on it. We're going to let it dry for several minutes because you don't want to just get right into traffic and start driving around with this wet. Make sure that none of it gets slinged off. And so any excess that gets on your rim, you can just wipe it off. You want to do it fairly quickly with your towel before it has a chance to dry or collect up on there. Okay, so now we're going to try the spray version here, this classic tire shine here. And we're going to see how this works. Now, some people, tend to like these kinds of sprays here because it's quick and easy for them. They don't have to get all messy and taking time to paint. So with hit this here, all they tell you to do is to hold the can about four to six inches away and spray directly on here. Give it a reasonably even coat all the way around and try not to get it onto the treads on the top part of the tire. And if you need to go around and get a little bit more, you can do that too. We'll hit it twice here. And now once you've sprayed it on there, you wanna wipe all the excess off the wheel rim. And it's so important to have this cloth down because this particular spray will leave marks on your concrete. So you really have to do some rinsing and scrubbing immediately after if you've got any on there. So here we can see the front left driver's tire here looks really nice here, nice and glossy in the sun there. And the rims are looking nice and glossy as well. Certainly looks a lot better than it did when we first started. Okay, now here on the rear wheel here, 
you can see where we sprayed it with the, the aerosol spray there, it just doesn't quite look as glossy. It doesn't look like it did much at all. In fact, I mean, if you're staring at it, you would never even know really that it was sprayed. So maybe a few more layers might do something. I don't know. It just looks more of a matte satin spray than anything else. Now, I, some, I know some people prefer the matte look, but in this particular case, we're trying to compare it to the glossy tire gel there to see how well it does. Does it give you a gloss? Especially since the can says that it gives a, a gloss to the tire here. I would say the spray here on the rear tire was not very impressive at all. Over the years, we've always come back to the Meguiar's Endurance uh, because it goes on really nice and it lasts apparently longer than most of the other products we've tried. And we have not yet, by the way, from any manufacturer seen an aerosol tire coating that we've liked. No manufacturer has impressed us yet. So here you can see the tires here side by side here. So again, even from this angle, it just doesn't look like anything was done to the rear tire. The front tire looks great, nice and shiny and glossy. It goes beautiful with that beautiful fire engine red there, but the rear tire, not so much. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. And if you are, hey, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up down below. That lets us know that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the carbuyingtips.com channel, click on that subscribe button down below and then click the little gray bell icon next to it and tell YouTube because you don't want to miss any of our uploads. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.